Arpaio, uh, the Joe Arpaio pardon. Uh, a lot of things happening uh, Friday night. Was that in part to distract from uh, Gorka being uh, pushed out of the White House? No, I, no, I don't think Gorka. Gorka, the funniest thing about Gorka is because he was given so much media attention, because he went out on TV, people didn't actually understand his role in the White House. He sat in the EEOB. He was effectively a research assistant for Steve Bannon, sent him lots right. of papers and went on TV, uh, had nothing to do with the NSC, but because of the public statements he was making, he was actually causing towards the end problems for Rex Tillerson. And, and also because of his, his background, his frightening background, and also telling people on TV, just don't pay any attention to the Secretary of State. But I think we saw a turning point on Friday with some of these people feeling more emboldened to come out against the president. I mean, it really was a stunning moment on Sunday to see the, the top diplomat in the country, the Secretary of State, refuse to say on national TV right. that, he, that the right. president uh, supports American values. Let's, let's listen to that. It's amazing. When the president gets into the kind of controversy he does and the UN committee responds the way it does, it seems to say they, they begin to doubt our, whether we're living those values. I don't believe anyone doubts the American people's values or the commitment of the American government or the government's agencies to advancing those values and defending those values. And, and the president's values? The president speaks for himself, Chris.